Hey babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. It was such a long time ago. I'm so sorry for missing out a few days. Uh, but today I am back with new hair color and a grungy makeup look. I'm trying out a bunch of new products from like um, Too Faced, Mulac, um, Lime Crime, uh, Hourglass, Pixie, and just a bunch of stuff. So if you want to see all of that, then... Uh, just keep on watching and also I will be talking a little bit with you guys some bad stuff some good stuff and uh, also I will show you guys how you create this makeup look let's get into the video Woo! so if you are wondering why I am I want I wanted to say blonde but I'm not blonde it's like yellow <laughs> it is because I bleached my hair twice I'm going to dye my hair and I needed to bleach my hair for that. It will be a completely new color. Maybe not a color that I will have for that long, but I'm still very excited about it. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Mineral Primer in Veil. It has SPF 15 as well, which is great. Although I have tried this before and it's kind of weird because it makes me look pale. Like right now, obviously, but I think that even when I blended it in, it just makes me look more pale, but I don't know. For my base, I'm gonna go in with this CC cream that I have used in many videos before. It is my go-to now during the uh, summer uh, because it has SPF 25 and it's just very lightweight. And I really like it. Although I heard from some of you guys, I'm sorry about the sound. Wait. Yeah, I'm sorry if you hear a lot of background noises, but I, I have to have my window open or I will faint. Uh, but I've heard that this is not um, available, but I will see if I, it is available now. I think it should be now during August. So I will link it down below. And it gives a like light to medium coverage. And now for concealer. I'm so excited about this concealer that I've already used it once. It is the Born This Way Concealer from Too Faced. I am really liking it. Um, maybe I should do a comparison uh, with the Tarte Shape Tape. Because as you guys know, I love the Tarte Shape Tape. I have a pimple there. Highlight and conceal. I love the look of this concealer. It looks so hydrating. And I love the shade. If, it, if I didn't say the shade, I'm using snow. Then before we powder, I'm gonna go in with these Nabla sticks. I think it's the highlighting sticks. Not really sure. But I'm gonna use this one to a bronze a little bit. It is called Nude Job. And then this one called Desert Rose for blush. So let's use this one a little bit. Bronze. Maybe this was a little bit too warm tone for me. Hmm. I've been so into cream stuff right now, which is so weird because I used to hate it. <laughs> but I don't know. It's something about summer. Summer is the best time ever in my opinion even though we have such a heat wave now in sweden like we are so not used to this heat it is let's see what is it right now right now it is 31 degrees celsius like what this is sweden we're talking about <laughs> we should not have this heat here mother earth is pissed which she has the right to be. Okay, and now for some blush. I think I will use it and blend it out with my fingers. I want to look rashed. <laughs> Sunburned. Oh my god, you guys. The first day, like last week, I was out in the sun for the first time and just lay there and like sunbathe. And I got so sunburned. It's not even funny. I think it was like a week ago. Uh, I will show you how it looks now because it's it's a 
fucking joke. <laughs> okay, let's see. You can see just a little bit right here. Do you see this? What? <laughs> I'm so pale and my skin can't handle the sun for even like an hour. <laughs> and I had SPF on. Powder, I'm gonna use my favorite one, the Close Up Powder from Nabla Cosmetics. See this difference? Wait, I'm just gonna get away the creasing. Okay, see the difference? This eye and this eye. It makes such a difference. It looks so much better here. I'm gonna use a little bit on my nose as well. Just because if not, I will just melt away. I would use a little bit here as well. And here. Oh my god. I'm gonna use it everywhere. <laughs> okay, so I obviously need to contour a little bit because this is not contoured at all. So I'm gonna go in with the new, not the new, but for me new, <laughs> Mulek, Mulek, Mulek contour kit. And I'm gonna use this shade to contour. And a little bit of that one. Lastly, for base, I'm gonna use this pixie highlighter called Delicate Dew. I got it yesterday and I'm very excited to try it. I'm getting, hmm, I'm gonna use most of this goldish shade, but I did use a little bit of that as well. On the Nabla brush, highlighter brush. This highlighter is not like the most blinding that I've seen, but it's very smooth. Sometimes I feel like some highlighters, like the Ephra Star ones, they are so like chunky and glittery. Sometimes it's just not what you want, you know? Cupid's bow, chin, and nose. I'm thinking that we should use this Mulac Daily Mood Palette. It looks really, really nice. And I'm thinking I want to do like a super red look. Like a... Son. <laughs> and son red look. Everybody on son red look. Okay? <laughs> Some Swedish for you. I absolutely hate when brands do this to me. Because you can take this off and now I have no idea what shade name it is. Okay, so just quickly, the shades that we are going to use are Wedding Planner. We're going to use this red one in the middle called La Vie and Rose. We're also going to use this one called Barbecue. And also we're going to use this one called Red Bush. Okay, so I was just planning to like just talk to you guys about nothing and everything. I'm not done my brows. I'm gonna go in with the pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown. And I'm not really sure if this is the best shade for me at the moment because I don't really know what hair color I have. But I had it on yesterday and it worked. I always think this brow is so much better. I think this one is just shorter and I don't, I don't know how to make it work. So hard. Brows are on and they look very dark and uh, very extreme. <laughs> but don't you worry, we will make them a little bit less extreme with the brow gel from Nabla. This is in the shade Oslo Blonde. Oh my god, Oslo, Norway. I think at least this is the shade that I used yesterday. Maybe it wasn't, but it's very light. It's like the 3D brow gels from Benefit that I obviously don't use anymore. Come on, Benefit, when will you become cruelty free? This is just not okay. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Doesn't this kind of look cool? I don't know, you probably hate it, but I like it, okay? So. Now, let's get into <laughs> the eyes again. The thing that I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about because a lot of you guys have been commenting both on my Instagram and YouTube that I've lost wave. Wait, wait, wave. Such a hard <laughs> uh, word to pronounce, I think. I've lost weight. Wave? Yeah. 
And some have commented that I look underweight and that I look unhealthy and that I used to be healthier looking and bigger, I guess. I don't know if I've lost weight. I don't think so because I don't know how much I weigh. I've not stood on a scale since I was like 15. I said it in so many videos. I have no idea how much I weigh and I don't care and I don't want to know. I know I was at like the uh, what is that? It's like a youth thingy where you can go and get like condoms or um, what's it called? So I went there and she really wanted to uh, see how much I weighed and I let her like weigh me but I didn't want to know so I just told her like you can watch what it says on the scale but I don't want to know because I think it's just a unimportant thing in my life I don't care and I really didn't even want to like uh, talk about this eh. because I think it's like a weird topic and I don't want anyone to take offense or to those of you that haven't even noticed anything because you guys are right because nothing has changed I look the same, my body is the same you only see this like I don't know how you can think that you know stuff I don't know, what am I trying to say? Um, and also I wanted to note that a lot of people have said that you can see from my face that I've lost weight which is not true it is probably the fillers that you guys see are different because now my face might look a little bit sharper because I've gotten more in my cheeks well not more but as you guys know like a month ago or something I got in my cheeks and I did get um, right here and also in my chin um, which makes me look more sharp <laughs> that probably is why people think I look uh, thinner but I'm not and I'm not trying to be thinner I'm not trying to lose weight I'm not trying to do anything with my body other than trying to keep it healthy and happy and uh, yeah I don't want this uh, whole video to be about this topic but I thought that it was a important thing to discuss because I don't think that anyone should ever discuss anyone else's weight not even depending on if it's like that you are too skinny or if you are too big or whatever no one should talk about your body because it's your own personal thing to handle it's such a weird thing when people are like you look too skinny and I'm like what I haven't even noticed anything about my I haven't even given it a thought and then I hear that people all over the internet is like looking at my body and thinking something's wrong but as I said maybe I have lost weight I don't think I have but I don't know because I don't fucking care if anyone is wondering, obviously I've gained weight. It would just be weird if I hadn't. I do want to say that I guess that some people say these things out of love and consideration. But you guys don't have to. I've never had any problem with my body or my weight or anything like that. I've never had a uh, eating disorder or even close to having an eating disorder. It's not in my nature <laughs> there you go that's all I wanted to say about that um, what is happening over here this is going to be a dark dark look and I'm loving it I already love this I feel like you're the way <laughs> then we're gonna use this shiny shiny one and add it on the lid should we have red or black in the eye Maybe we should just have red. Let's try it. This is the Anger Mood Crayon from Linda Halberg Cosmetics. Lastly, to highlight my eyes, I'm gonna use this shade called Lifestyle. 
And now for lashes, I'm not gonna use the cocoa lashes. I know, crazy. These are the brand new lashes. Oh, I almost bit my tongue. <laughs> lashes called Linus. Lioness. Used them for the first time yesterday and I think that they are out available for everyone right now. I got to try them out a little bit sooner or earlier it's called than other people. And also if you are interested check out my next makeup tutorial. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure because then I will have a giveaway with Russian Rogue giving you guys some of the new lashes and probably these ones so if you like them then yes i'm actually going to apply it with the new lash glue and this is from moolak cosmetics it is called adhesive glue for fake eyelashes <sighs> these lashes are so cute and then for mascara i'm gonna also use the mulac gentleman mascara and now we need to figure out what lipstick we should wear. I have the new uh, plushies from Lime Crime that I'm thinking would be really cute. Um, no. Mm hmm, maybe. Nah. I also have three new uh, velveteens. No. No. I think that this one is cuter. But I think this one suits the look more because it's more grungy. If you were wondering, this is a melon smoothie and this is chocolate milk. And we're gonna use chocolate milk. I feel like I wanna apply a second layer. That is it for this look. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy it um, and also enjoyed seeing me go through all of these products. I want to give a few notes before I end this video. I have tried the primer before and I absolutely love it. I don't really know why I love it so much but it just feels so nice on your skin and it just feels like everything is more smooth for some reason. CC cream and powder, you guys know I already love. The concealer, as I said, love, love, love. The highlighting sticks, these two ones maybe are not my favorites, but I've tried one that is more like a light highlighter shade, and I absolutely love that one. It's really nice to just put on your body and just like quick, you know? The brow, of course, I love it. I love the Nabla brow gels. They look so cool, right? Kind of cool, yeah? <laughs> The Mulac uh, Contour Kit and Eyeshadow Palette were both really, really good. Uh, I don't think that I would use that many shades here, but I still really like it. It works great. And the Eyeshadow Palette though, I loved. Like it was so, it is so pigmented and the shadows are really, really cute and blended very nicely and I just really love the shades in this one. The mascara I liked and also the lash glue I liked as well, although uh, kind of annoying packaging. And then I think the only thing left is the lipstick. And I've tried the plushies before and I like them. They are very, very lightweight, so if you think like the liquid lipstick, like regular li li liquid lipsticks are too heavy, you will probably love these ones, but they are just not as fully coveraged. I don't know, it's just, I feel like I can see my lip through and it's nothing bad, but I just want it to be completely another shade. But I like it. So yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you are interested in uh, my new hair color, then click the thumbs up and maybe I can upload that one maybe even tomorrow. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you will have an amazing day and I hope that we will see each other in my next video. Bye!